Hello, welcome back to The Joy of Code. This is Michael again. We've had a couple of weeks without new videos, so I hope you have had time to catch up and um, get a bit of practice with what we've done before and you're ready to go and do something new. Um, what I will talk about today is dealing with mouse input. We have had this bouncing ball example from last time and I will use that um, to talk about this. Um, it is much more fun if you write programs, if they're interactive, if they can react to user input. And what we've seen before already is keyboard input. We could steer our turtle, trick the turtle with a keyboard. And now we want to make something happens when you click with the mouse in your program. In fact, what I want to make happen first is something fairly simple. Every time I click with the mouse into uh, my picture here, into my world, I want a new ball to appear. So we can do this by working in the world class. So I open the my world um, class here and that is where we're going to work. Uh, I haven't actually tried this out before so I hope I get that done without too much trouble but I should be able to work it out. I have done similar things before. Um, first thing to know is that the world can also have an act method because when we have this running every time I click here into the world I want something to happen which means I want the world to react to uh, some events and the world can react to events just the same way as actors do by having an act method. So I can write here an act method into my world. Um, uh, right, check for mouse clicks because that's what I want to happen in my uh, act method. And then I say public void act. The mm, signature of the method is the header what I've just written here has to always look exactly like this public void act otherwise it is not recognized as the act method that will be, will be called by Greenfoot. So, um, and then I can say if mouse clicked um, and if I look that up, oops, it's not mouse clicked, if, let me see, is no it is why is that not working let me just check that out i'll just look at the class documentation properly um so look at the class documentation for world oh i know because it's not in the world class the mouse click class is actually in the greenfoot class there is the mouse click method okay so what i have to write here because it's in the greenfoot class if greenfoot dot and then I can do my code completion. Mouse clicked. And see, mouse clicked has an object. Um, so it takes a parameter. I can check whether um, the mouse was clicked, whether you got a mouse click on a specific object. So you can pass in an object. Um, or I can pass a null, which means I am interested in mouse clicks on any object. I don't want to restrict it to a certain object. So this Greenfoot mouse clicked um, method will return true if the mouse has been clicked and I can say I'm only interested in clicks on specific objects but in my case I'm interested in clicks anywhere any click so I just say null here which will return then true on any mouse click so if the mouse was clicked then I want to essentially do what I did here instead of putting a ball in in the constructor I take that out now I delete this um, and I copy it here. And now the indentation isn't quite right because it's an if statement should be indented. I can fix that by going to my edit and then say auto layout. Then it will fix up the indentation of the whole class for me. So I don't want to automatically create a ball, but instead, every time the mouse is clicked, I want to create a ball. Um, I get a random direction and I put that ball in. At the moment, it always puts it in at the center of the screen. I can change that in a minute but let's try that out first. So I compile this, I run it, now nothing's happening, now I'm clicking into my world and every time I click I get a new ball and they always start off blue um, and they bounce around. Okay that's pretty good. Um, the only other thing I want to do now is I want to make the ball appear actually at the point of the mouse click, 
not always in the center, but I want to actually find out exactly where the mouse was clicked and place the ball there. So instead of using 300, 200, that is the center of the screen as the location, I want to use the mouse location. Now, if we look at the API again, there is a method here called getMouseInfo in the Greenfoot class. We are in the Greenfoot class here. See? Um, and that gives you more information about the last mouse click that has happened. And you get an object of type mouse info back. And the mouse info object then has methods such as get button, which tells you which button was clicked on the mouse, get click count, it tells you whether that was a double click or triple click, and get x and y. That's the coordinate where the mouse has been clicked. So we are getting, um, so this is a two stage process from the Greenfoot class by using get mouse info we're getting a mouse info object and then we have that mouse info object and then we can ask that mouse info object for details about the mouse click. So let's do that here. If there was a mouse click, we first get the mouse info object and we store it in a local variable. So I say mouse info info. So here I'm declaring a local variable and I'm assigning to this variable greenfoot dot get mouse info. So here, what I'm doing here is from the Greenfoot class, I'm getting my mouse info object. And then I'm storing it in a local variable of type mouse info. So now I have in this variable an object of type mouse info. Now I can ask this object um, about the get x and get y position. In fact, I can just use it here. I just say here info dot do my get x for the x coordinate. So here I'm using the mouse coordinates. In fact, info, I don't like that name particularly because info.getx isn't isn't very descriptive. Looking at this here, info.getx, if you just read that line on its own, is not doesn't tell you exactly what info is. So in fact a nicer name would be just to call it mouse. And then I can say here, I can just copy that name, I say mouse get x, mouse get y. The, now you can see, read this line on its own and it reads really nicely. I say add an object, a ball, at the mouse get x and mouse get y, so at the mouse x position and mouse y position. Um, and that should do it. Let's try it out. Compile it. And now I click, and wherever I click, I get a new ball. That is how you get mouse input. Okay, try it out. See you next time. Bye-bye.